Jesus came and doing anything and everything. You got to be down with Christ. The one that called Jesus Christ. You got to study and put his word in you, man. You're going to have to take it in. Take it in and live it. That's how you're going to maintain that power. Because, you know, this ADLS movement, all these things happening to us and for us. It's, it's going to be null and void if you're not dealing with Christ, man. Seriously, you're not going to make it to the end. He's the only, he's only one that's going to help you, man. His words, his words are life, you know. Help me, man. That's why I'm speaking from a first person. I'm speaking from experience, man. If you're lost, man, you got to read them. And, and just know that Christ, the one called Jesus Christ was a black man. He was. Uh, if he's walking around America, he'd be an ADOS also. Maybe he's one of us. He's a black man. They'll call him a nigga, too, if he was walking on the earth today. Because he is. <laughs> Not a nigga, but he's one of us. You know, so-called black man. And uh, you got to, you know, he's our hero. He's our leader, man. He's our God, you know. A black God. You know. He's not white. They don't want you to think that, but. That's one way, that's a way to keep us blind. By painting, by painting their faces, images, and everything that's us. You know? They do it even now, you know, hip-hop, R&B, man. They put a white face on everything. Everything. You know? Trying to portray like everything is white, you know. It's not. 